Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Welcome, welcome back. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Welcome, welcome back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, kings and queens. Uh, we're. Uh, my name is Joyce McTeer, and I am the owner and operator of LaJoy Truck Creation Designs. I'm coming to you all today with uh, number two of the project projects <laughs> that I want to share with you all. Okay, so today, whenever you're watching this video, I want to, first of all, I want to say thank you so very much for clicking onto this video to watch, to learn, and listen, okay? Uh, secondly, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, y'all, so we're going to go ahead and the next uh, project that I'm going to be working on is I'm going to be working on painting uh, these uh, wood beads right here. Like I said, these are two by two wood beads. I got these from Family Dollar a while ago. I did a haul showing you all where I, uh, what all came in the package, okay? So you're gonna need some 12 gauge aluminum wire, cut your aluminum wire, maybe 12 to 15 inches long, okay? You're also going to need some round nose pliers, some wire cutters, paint brushes, uh, some uh, water for your paint brushes to put your paint brushes in. These are the paints that I'm going to be using. Yes, I am gravitating. I have gravitated to these four colors right here, the black, the green, the red, and the, uh, and the yellow, okay? Black, green, red, yellow. Black, green, red, yellow. All right, y'all. So the very first thing that I'm going to do, and um, let me see, what else am I missing? Oh, and you're gonna need some 20 gauge aluminum wire, and I'm sorry for, for not mentioning that, and you're gonna need some fish hooks, okay? Y'all know I have a scatter. Y'all know how I be thinking, right? So we're gonna go ahead and get right on into this here video. So the very first thing that we're going to do, and I basically have already poured some of my colors in my container that I got from the Dollar Tree, y'all. I got it. I get a little excited because I I do love painting, um, but y'all know I do a variety of things here on this platform. So the next thing I'm going to do is go get me some gloves and wait a minute, I'm gonna find my circle. I don't have to worry about making a hole and putting a hole in this because this already has a hole in it. Y'all gonna have to excuse my fingers because I've been painting. So I do have paint. Even though I wear gloves, I've managed to still get paint on my hand. And that's something. So give me one minute, y'all. I'm gonna run and get me some gloves. And we're gonna get this ball rolling. I hope all is well with each and every one of you all. I hope y'all are staying safe uh, by doing your uh, hand washing, your universal precautions, wearing your gloves, because that stuff has started again. But anyway, that is not the video for that segment. This is not the video for that segment. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is I am going to paint my wood piece, and I wanna paint my wood piece black. I already took the paint. Okay, actually, I'm going to set this right here, and I'm going to paint my wood piece black, and I'm going to paint it all over the front and the back. This is jet paint, y'all. I mean, jet paint, jet black paint. I really like this, um, this paint, and this is not, um, this is acrylic matte matte acrylic however you want to call it so like i said i'm gonna paint the front and the back and this this uh is going to uh require a lot of painting just like the very first one that y'all saw these videos take time to make y'all so bear with me make sure you watch all the steps don't fast forward the video 
uh, because if you fast forward the video, you may not get everything you need to do and achieve the look that you see me creating. So, yes, I have a lot of energy, a lot of energy. It feels so good to be living and, and breathing, okay? So now once I paint my piece all over, make sure you get your sides and all that good stuff. Then I'm going to take my piece and I'm going to set it off to the side and I'm also going to let it dry. Now at some point in time, I will be doing the Mod Podge. I am going to show y'all how I put my Mod Podge on. So uh, stay tuned. Okay, y'all. So once our piece have dried, I am going to go ahead and start painting my other design on my piece. Now, I'm going to take my paint brush. Now, if you want to, you can add another coat to this, um, to this black, which I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to add another coat to this. Yeah, I'm going to add another coat and then I'm going to come back because if this is dry, but I don't like how it looks. So I'm going to add another coat and I'll be back. Okay, y'all. So my piece is dry. I am back and I don't know if I mentioned this, but you will need some Gorilla Glue and you're going to need a coral shell and some uh, 20 gauge wire. I know I mentioned the 20 gauge wire. Anyway, so the next thing we're going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and start painting a design on my wood piece. So this already has a hole. I don't have to worry about making one because it has a hole already in it. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my paintbrush and I'm going to decide what color I want to be like the outline for me, if you know. And I'm just going to take, and I think I'm going to go with, actually I'm going to go with the green. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. I hope you all can see that. I'm going to start my earring of just doing this right here on the, uh, pretty much like on the ends of my earring. And I'm going to do this all the way around my earring. So that color was the green. And this is what pretty much what you're gonna have. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna add another color. So I am going to probably add some red in here. Turning it, I turned it to the side, y'all, to paint my red. Just like that. I'm just, I'm going, pretty much going in between where I had the, uh, yeah, so this is what you're going to have next. This is what it's actually going to be looking like. And then I'm going to go with some yellow. So I'm actually doing all this. I'm not really waiting until my paint dry. I'm just going in and pretty much doing my own 
little thing without my paint drying. Okay, so this is pretty much what you are going to have. This is our shape. So I'm gonna put this, place this down right there for a minute. I'm gonna shake off my pen, I mean my, um, my paint brushes. I just dipped them in water. And I'm gonna add one more color to this. I know I didn't mention it in the beginning and it's going to be this uh, antique copper. I'm just gonna add just a little bit of that antique copper and Open it, put a little smidge of it right here. Didn't need that much. And I'm going to take my paintbrush and dab it on the ends. And I'm going to just lightly go in and I hope you all can see that. Let me so put it in my hand so you all can actually see what I'm doing. Just lightly dabbing it. And like I said, this is not completely dry. It ain't dry at all, y'all, to be honest with you. Okay. So I'm not really going to worry about painting the middle because I don't want the middle painted. But this is pretty much my design. This is what I'm going to be going with right here. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to come back and I'm going to hit it with some of this Mod Podge. So this is going to go dry and then I'll be back. Okay, everyone. So this is the finish. It's not finished, but it just, is finished drying now you can take this time if you want to to flip it over in the back and paint a design on the back of your earring and I think that's what I'm going to do but guess what y'all it's going to be something really really simple uh, because I am going to, uh, these I'm going to sell. I'm gonna put these in my shop to sell them. Normally, uh, sometimes I sell my pieces and sometimes I don't, just depends. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is something really simple. I'm gonna take all three of my paint brushes And I'm just going to make, just do something on the back. Like I said, it doesn't have to be uh, anything great or wonderful. Actually, what I'm doing is I'm taking my paintbrushes out of the water, y'all. So I'm sorry if I'm being a minute. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna take a dab of and it's not going to be, and I'm just going to do something like that, like just a, a streak. Okay, and that's all I'm going to do of uh, pretty much of each color, just a, a simple streak.
just to give the earring so that, you know, it won't uh, look like it doesn't have any. And this could actually be another design, okay? That you can um, that you can do, and that's all I'm doing for this. And then I'm gonna add the bronze, and then I will put these back and let them dry again. And then the next time I come back, y'all, it will be time for me to add on the Mod Podge. I'm just gonna add that. The uh, bronze just do right lightly a streak of it is very lightly y'all uh, like this very lightly all right and then I'm just gonna set this off on the side and let it dry and then I'll be back okay y'all so i am back so my earring did dry on the back and it is dry on the front and now i am going to go ahead and add on just a coat of this mod podge okay i'm just gonna add a nice coat and for those of you who y'all already know um, for those of you who have been following, y'all know that Mod Podge go on this color. It goes on white, but when it dries, it dries clear. Okay. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and set this off once again. Let it dry and I will be back. Okay, y'all. So we have come down to the wire as far as putting these earrings together. Whenever you are making hand-painted earrings, it is a process, okay? It's a process and it is definitely, uh, when, I, when I make these videos, uh, it's, it, it's a lot, y'all. It's a lot that we as, as uh, content creators here on YouTube, it's just a lot, okay? And we hope that you all uh, appreciate and watch the videos completely through, uh, not skip anything because there's so much work that goes into these videos, okay? Now, the next thing we're gonna do, before I do anything else, I am going to, now I, I, what I did was, I did not mention this, some of these things in the beginning of the video. Okay, but I I found these acrylic beads and I found this black. Of course, y'all saw this. I don't know if I showed this one. Anyway, this black wood bead and I have two acrylic beads. Okay, so I am going to be putting these on. I'm going to do this first before I do the next stage. So I'm going to take my piece of 20 gauge wire. I hope y'all can see this. It's really not that long. It's about five, maybe five inches long. And I'm going to put it through my hole on my earring. I'm going to push these two pieces up together, just like this. And I'm going to take my front piece and wrap it around the back piece. So I'm going to push it all the way down and just start wrapping it around my wire that's in the back. Okay. Just like this, just wrapping it pretty good. Okay, now that is that. Straighten it up. That's what we're gonna have. And I'm gonna snip off this little extra piece that's on the back. Now the next thing I am going to do is I'm going to add on the beads, and that's this is the this is the finish that you have once your Mod Podge dry. Okay, I'm going to add on these beads, so I'm going to add on one of these, and these are eight millimeter. 
they're eight millimeter. Then I'm gonna add on this one, and then I'm gonna add on this one, okay? All three of them are on here. And I wanted to do something because I was like, I wanna, I want, I wanna give it a, a, a really different and unique look, okay? And then I made my loop. I was talking through it, I'm sorry, y'all. And then I'm gonna come up and just start wrapping my wire around making it nice and tight okay just like that and then I'm gonna snip off this little extra piece that's up at the top and that part is done and I'm gonna add on my squeeze that in I'm gonna add on my fish hook, okay? So I'm gonna put my fish hook on. Turn this around this way. Put on my fish hook. And then that way that part will be done. And then I am going to add on the very last two things. So I'm gonna take my wire and I'm gonna make a loop up at the top and I'm just going to make, uh, roll it all the way down um, into a spiral, just some spirals, just rolling it all the way down. I'm gonna take my finger and just continue to roll it all the way down. If you have some nylon pliers, y'all, I know I say this all the time, I don't use nylon pliers, I do have a pair, but they don't work for me. So once you roll it all the way down, okay, then I'm going to make a loop at the top, just like that. And this is what you're gonna have. Now I'm gonna take, and this is gonna go right in the center, just like that, okay? Now I'm gonna take my Gorilla Glue and put a generous amount of Gorilla Glue on it. Just like this. And I'm gonna place that in the center like that. And then I'm gonna take my coil shell. I don't know how that got in there. Okay. And I'm gonna put a generous amount in my coil shell. Just like that. And place that down in my coil shell and you want this to dry, so you don't want to mess with it. You want it to completely dry. Okay? And you have yourself a gorgeous, gorgeous pair of earrings. These are really, really nice. I will be putting these in my shop. They are for sale. Um, uh, they will be, uh, uh, by the time I upload this video, they will probably already be in my shop, but they will come with sterling silver fish hook posts. So if anybody's interested in purchasing these, they're going to be in my shop. I'm going to make sure I leave my shop information link and everything down in the description box. But um, this is what we have, y'all, and these turned out gorgeous. And it's wearable art. It's just art, okay? Art. I didn't, this is uh, just something that I just let my hands do the work. Uh, I don't I don't write, I don't sketch. I just like, okay, this is what I wanna do and, and that's what I do. So with that being said, I wanna thank you all for watching. Go make plenty, 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 plenty. And if for those of you who follow me on Instagram, if you do decide to make these, uh, give me a shout out <laughs> um, to let me know that you made and created these. But I enjoyed this. I had fun. Like I said, these will be for sale. They're going in my shop as we speak. And I want to thank you all for taking the time out to watch this here video. I greatly appreciate all of you all support. Okay. So with that being said, uh, uh, until the next video, peace and blessings. There are going to be more videos to come. 
And y'all have a wonderful and awesome, awesome weekend. Peace and blessings, everyone. See ya.